Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence. I'm Francis McCarthy and I'm bringing you a special video today. Um, what we're going to do, the first um, seven minutes, you will see me doing a small monochromatic painting. And then from the seven minute mark to like, I don't know, 23 minutes is the live uh, two glazing sessions where I transform the monochromatic painting into a blue painting and uh, I've been wanting to do this since uh, someone on the channel had uh, requested more blue paintings and um, this little uh, monochromatic painting it's just was a board I had laying around and it was the end of the day I had maybe uh, an hour or so on my hands and uh, Uh, sorry, small interruption there. Um, and, uh, you know, I love doing uh, little grayscale paintings. I absolutely love it. This scene was like from the lowest res uh, pictorialist reference. It's, I mean, uh, I mean, it was like 85 pixels across. It was practically an icon. Um, but good enough to kind of, there was something about it, a sort of mysterious quality I liked. Now, when we get to the glazing portion, of course, you'll, that'll all be live in the studio. So you get a bit of a taste of what the uh, the members area is like, uh, where you get just, you know, videos that, um, you know, it's not like I'm instructing you every second of the video, but I think it's invaluable to be in the studio and see how a real painter puts their work together and there's going to be insights and things that are shared that way that um, you know wouldn't necessarily occur to me in this format where I'm just talking over a sped up video so it's very worthwhile and uh, yeah it's been growing the members area you know come on and join it's five was it six bucks six bucks six dollars what are you gonna do or, you know, just be grooving on this video and the other, um, the 15 minute videos, which I think are just great too. And I've, the overwhelming bulk of the videos on this channel have been in the uh, 10, 15 minute format. Yeah. So, um, now this came out of, uh, like I said, I, I had this little monochromatic, it was a little oddball just sitting there. It's a three and a half by five. And, uh, I kept thinking, hmm, maybe uh, that would be a good one to do my uh, glaze with blue magic trick. And um, so what I'd done is actually I had to do two passes in the glazing. And if I thought it had been a little smarter, um, it would have been just one. But that's all part of the process. So that around the 18 minute mark, you can see where I put it up in the easel again. And um, what happened basically is... Uh, I had thought, well, I had cobalt blue in the palette. I really prefer um, glazing with phthalo. Uh, it's so much stronger and it's a, a little more transparent. And um, cobalt is works fine. You can glaze with it. But uh, so I thought to myself, um, inc incorrectly as it turned out, uh, oh, the top top of the board I'll do a cobalt and the bottom I'll do phthalo and it was sitting uh, in my actually on my desk I don't know if it made it my drawing area and I was had so much more color saturation on the bottom which I enjoyed I thought it was pretty um than the top and I was like yeah, I thought it was working you'll hear it in the uh, in my live thing I'm going no that looks good <laughs> but you know I always keep these things around and and think about them and I think it's good to always, um, t you know, you're going to have these, um, it's a bit of an oscillation. I've talked about this uh, on plenty of videos in the past, but you got two voices going on in your head as you're painting, you know, you've got the, um, you've got the, the cheerleader and the editor, right? And the cheerleader is going, yeah, I can do this. This is going good. This is all right. Yeah, this is looking good. And then the editor's going, I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that. That could be better. You know, if one of the other of them is too, uh, predominates too much, uh, you end up with gridlock. And so if you've got too much cheerleader, you're doing a bunch of um, uh, amateur paintings that uh, probably are uh, in need of some editing. Um, but you're not seeing it because you're just yeah I'm doing great you know um, and that there's a way to solve that that's called you know doing a lot of work and then looking at your older work and going oh yeah and then realizing at that time that 
there was a voice in your head. That was my wife in the background there with our puppy. He likes to bother our cat. Um, there's a voice saying, oh, what about this? What about that? Like in this painting right now, I'm looking at the river snaking back, and I've been looking at it for a while. It's not way in the reference, and so um, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. But I keep thinking maybe it would have been nice lower, but in that particular case, I opted, you know, just to leave it, and it looks fine, you know. Um, all of the, like so much of the things I do in my paintings are like that, you know. I see something uh, and I go, I can make this better, or this is distracting, I need to get rid of it. So you got to cultivate both of those areas, and really the only way to do it is, is you don't cultivate them by writing down on a, a note and putting it on your easel that I must cultivate both values. The way you cultivate it is through um, always listening to that editor's voice pretty much no matter what because that's the only thing that's going to save you for one. For two, that voice becomes stronger and stronger with the more experience you have because you have um, that's your intuition and it's backed up through experience. So you had an intuition about something and then you had an experience that you know proved that the intu intuition was correct and it's through that it's like if you had a, a a guy working for you and you knew he was a reliable messenger and that everything he told you about what was going on out in the field was accurate if he tells you something's going on you're going to act on it because you know he's giving you good information your intuition's like that too anyway that's it for this portion of the video so stay tuned for the live session where we magically turn this monochromatic painting into a lovely blue painting um, which will be so much more saleable let's face it people like blue you know anyway till they uh, come back with another video take good care stay out of trouble and stay tuned for the live so I want to do this for a little while we're going to uh, mm -hmm. well, we're gonna glaze this with some blues get some cobalt And then we'll work with some cobalt. Um, we need some white. And I might get some phthalo out. Thalo goes really far. Uh, so just a tap. Maybe more than that. Okay. Glazing. So that is painted with gray. And you, uh, I had someone on the channel like, oh, you're going to do more blue, blue videos. I'm like, no. Nah. But this works just as well as if you painted it in blue in the first place. So we're going to, you could glaze with cobalt. In fact, maybe I'll do half and half. I'll do the top with some cobalt. Okay. Bottom with some uh, Thalo. Let's see what the difference. Ooh, Thalo is crazy. Crazy stronger. Hey. Okay. Well, the idea is not to wipe it off too much.
start to go full out gray. Touch there. That's where cobalt's gone. Don't matter because oh, the little brush. Oh, the little brush. Well, actually, it's a good call to. Um, Now here is Scumble. So I was one of the things that I like mentally avoiding is uh, black because there's a, it's already got black in it, right? So and I don't want to. I want the colors that I'm doing to be kind of. So here, I need my sticker. Oh. 
else with that. Just knock most of that paint off. Yeah, so, black and white to blue, and to really reinforce the whole thing, you could do one more glaze, and it'd just be like, I've always been a blue painting, I'm still a blue painting. Here we are getting some gray coming back, but yeah, I like it, so I'm leaving it. The idea was not just to do the whole thing with the blasty phthalo, to have a you know, progression of difference in the woods versus the land. A lot of transparency. But kind of moody now, kind of cool, kind of gloomy. Definitely more saleable than that little black and white. Yeah, I know. Thought it was done. Even burned a video, but this vivid down here with this not so vivid just isn't working. So, just real quick. Won't take no time. And it's all part of not giving up. I never give up. And I got some extra oil there. Probably more than I needed, but we don't want to. I did board prep and only three boards but it's for the um, project I'm working on. I needed good photography. That's it. We're done. It's blue. Oh, actually, I'm seeing one thing. Let's see.